have problems with adjectives like these two and when to use them. Do you confuse I am bored and I am boring? I am interested, I am interesting. Do you know what the difference is? Well in this video I'm going to explain the difference between these two and how to remember when to use them. So make sure you stay until the end because I'm also going to give you another teeny tiny test. I'm going to start calling teeny tiny tests from now on because I say that in almost all my videos. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Pronunciation with Emma. So, as I said in the intro, I'm going to be talking about adjectives which have either an ED ending or an ING ending. So, a lot of students have problems with when to use them both, so that's what I'm going to be talking about. So let's start with ED adjectives first. Now, when we're talking about ED adjectives, we're talking about an emotion, a temporary emotion. I'm bored. I'm interested, I'm tired. Now with the ing adjectives, we're talking about a characteristic of something, not a feeling. So let's say I have a book. I could say, this book is really interesting. I can't say, this book is really interested, because the book is a book. It's an inanimate object, it cannot have feeling. Therefore, I use the ing, interesting. So as a quick recap, I can say, I am bored, it's an emotion, I am boring, I'm describing my personality, my characteristics. So now we're going to do a little test just to see how much you've learned in this video. I'm going to do five questions, let's see how you do. While you're doing this test, I'd like you to write your answers in the comments because I'm curious to know how much you've learned from this video and if you've learned anything from this video, let me know in the comments. Let me give you this sentence. What do we think? This TV show is so boring. Why is it boring? Because remember with ING adjectives, we're talking about characteristics. A TV show does not have emotion. It cannot feel anything. It's not human. It's not a living thing. So I cannot use bored. I have to use boring. How about this one? I'm really annoyed that you didn't call me. Annoyed because I'm talking about my emotion. I'm really annoying means it's my personality. I'm annoying. I make other people feel annoyed. So in this case, I'm annoyed. How about this one? Any idea? This documentary is really interesting. It's interesting because it's a characteristic about an inanimate object. This inanimate object cannot have feeling or emotion, therefore I cannot use interested. So, interesting is the answer. How about this one? This one's a bit trickier because we've got two this time. So with this one, I can say, after reading that inspiring book, I feel really motivated to start my own company. So when we're talking about the inspiring part, we're not talking about emotion. So we're using ing, we're talking about characteristic. While with the other one, with motivated, I'm talking about my feeling, I feel motivated. We're not using ing, it's not a characteristic, it's an emotion. And this is the last one. I've thrown in two more again, just for fun. What do you think? Have a look. What do we think? So with this one, I can say, my job is so tiring. I get so annoyed sometimes by all the paperwork. So that first one, so tiring, I'm describing my job, I'm not describing myself and my feeling, I'm describing a characteristic. And the second one, so annoyed, I get annoyed, I feel annoyed, I'm talking about emotion, so again I'm using ED. That's it for this video everyone, thank you so much for watching, I hope it's been beneficial. Let me know in the comments if you like these grammar videos, 
I tend to focus more on pronunciation videos, hence the name Pronunciation with Emma, but I know that you guys are always requesting grammar videos as well, so here they are, just for you. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up, like the video, and also subscribe to my channel. And a final thank you guys. Yes, thank you so much. I feel completely humbled that you watch my videos, that you've even subscribed, that you like my videos. So a big thank you to you. See you next week. Bye bye. But the occasional grammar one won't. Oh.